So when we started using the product, there were a few anticipated barriers that we had talked about as a group. Uh, one of the things being that we did not have um, access to purchasing the transfer lid or neo syringes that are meant to use be used with the product. Um, however, that ended up being a non-issue. We are still able to use the product um, for multi-dosing. Uh, they are pouring the um, product into a um, sterile um, volumetric cylinder to measure out per, the fortifier per cc rather than drawing it into a syringe. And this is done under a laminar flow hood aseptically. So it still accomplishes that same end goal of aseptic technique and minimizing um, cross-contamination and bacterial transfer. Um, one of the other concerns that we had in bringing the product in was um, potential waste, and we've been able to um, manage that fairly well. Um, I think there had been some concern as far as um, growth and other outcomes, um, but based on the literature that we had reviewed as a group as far as fortifier and clinical outcomes such as sepsis and NEC, we didn't deem that to be a major risk factor in, in switching fortifier in the unit as a whole. Um, and that was some of the data that we also collected or and still are collecting as part of our trial is um, tolerance, change in growth, um, any change in GI symptoms or oral feeding, um, all of which um, have so far not been an issue. We haven't had any noticeable change um, or difference in growth on, in a unit as a whole so far. So we will be evaluating that a little bit more closely as far as numbers go, but just subjectively, um, we are still attaining the same growth goals that we had been on, on our previous fortifier. So those are um, among the things that we've um, deemed successful with this trial so far that we thought would actually be challenges that have um, turned out to be quite pleasant outcomes. For other dietitians who are considering trialing the product at their own facility, I think that they should heavily consider it and keep an open mind. There are um, aspects of the product that we had hesitations on um, before as far as packaging went um, and just reviewing the literature and like looking at the amount of time and safety practices that it um, enables our unit to maintain are definitely worth it. Um, we've just seen a large difference in um, our transition to oral feedings. It's been just great all around for minimizing infection risk, especially in this day and age where we're being extra meticulous about receiving milk from the outside world.